Introduction to Wizardry. In this video, we're going to cover who this information is for, basic qualities of a wizard, how to become a wizard, basic wizard safety, where you can find magical training, and what will be covered in this series. Section 1. Who is this information for? Not only is this information for those who want to be a wizard, but for anyone who wants to learn about and practice real magic, gain metaphysical insight, learn to work with subtle energy, or be empowered to create their life. Section 2. What is a wizard? The word wizard originates from the Anglo-Saxon word Weisart, which means wise one. A wizard will need to see through illusions to find truth and distinguish false information. And, obviously a wizard would practice magic. Quick recap. Some basic qualities of a wizard are wise, perceptive, practices magic. Section 3. How do I become a wizard? There is no single path to becoming a wizard. The following suggestions are just one path to wizardry. Learn about metaphysics. Metaphysics is a branch of philosophy concerned with explaining the fundamental nature of being and the world that encompasses it. Learn to discipline your mind and train your chi. The mind guides all of your personal chi and magic. Without a disciplined mind, your magic will be weak or not work at all. Without a disciplined mind, your emotions can run wild and control you. Chi, also known as prana, is a form of subtle energy. Among other things, it moves and gathers in and around your body. It can also be gathered and collected from your environment, stored, and then used through your magical tools. Learn about magic and wizardry. Practice magic and manifestation. Manifestation is the art of making an event happen in nature based on your mind, will, and chi. Section 4. Basic Wizard Safety Like any skill, you need to learn about safety before you begin practice. This is not a complete list. You should spend more time learning about magic safety before you cast any spells. When starting out, do not summon anything. It's not a good idea to call upon anything you can't yet deal with. Do not cast a spell on anyone without their permission. Do not cast a love spell on someone else. Forcing your will upon another does not ever end well. Section 5. Where can I find magical training? Ideally, you would want to physically apprentice under someone who is trained in magic. Such training can be rare, hard to find, and many practitioners refuse to teach or charge a good amount of money for their time. 
If you are lucky enough to find someone to teach you in person, appreciate them for their time and effort. Attend an online wizard school, like Gray School of Wizardry, which does cost a small monthly tuition. Buy one or more books on magic. Some good authors to start with are Scott Cunningham, Silver Ravenwolf, and Raymond Buckland. Continue to watch and subscribe to this channel. Section 6. What will be covered in this series. General information about and usage of real magic. Meditations to discipline the mind. Exercises to build and train your chi for health and magic. Information and usage of magic wands and energy crystal wands. Information and usage of energy pyramids and subtle energy coils. To be clear, magic and wizardry is not evil. We will not teach anything demonic or harmful. These teachings focus on love and understanding. As a recap, we covered who this information is for, more than just wizards. Basic qualities of a wizard, wise, perceptive, practices magic. Suggestions on how to become a wizard, Learn about metaphysics, train your mind in chi, learn about magic and wizardry, practice magic. Basic starting wizard safety, do not summon anything, do not cast a spell on another without permission, do not cast a love spell on anyone else. Where to find training, apprentice, online school, books, watch more videos in this series. If you like this video and want to learn more about becoming a wizard, please subscribe. Thanks for watching!